Yeah, they're filling up uh, just overnight. This one in Cameron Park was full. They were not accepting any more evacuees, so a lot of people were actually forced to sleep in their cars overnight. You see a truck over there filled up with all of the stuff that they could bring with them in a moment's notice. A lot of those people really trying to grab what they could, their dogs, their pets, and then get out as soon as they were told. And I'm actually here with Tom Hawley. He's an evacuee from Grizzly Flat, and he tells me, you know, you were forced to leave in a moment's notice as well. What was that all like, trying to grab the things you had? Uh, well, it was a panic. It was, you know, get it out of there, get it as quick as can. It was, at that time, it was just a warning, but I wasn't going to wait for the you know, order. But I was really surprised that people didn't leave. I was watching, driving out, seeing people sitting in their houses watching TV. Like nothing was going on. It was just another Monday evening. Yeah. And your home was in Grizzly Flat. What, do you know anything about what it's like right now? No, I don't. It's, I can't get any information. So, so it's, I, go ahead. All I heard is most of the town's gone. It's probably gone. I'll, I'll find out when they give us some information. So it's just waiting it out and trying to figure out when you can get back in and figure out what's left. What's yeah. the plan? Well, right now, I'll just stay here until I get some information. You know, if we can go back and check it out, I want to be able to. I could drive up to Washington to my sister's, but that's a long drive back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so at this point, it's just stay here until we get some information. Thank you so much, Tom. I'm so sorry for everything. It's just a hard situation altogether. Uh, here at this evacuation center, it's been full. They say some people have been leaving, other people have been able to come back. So it's a back and forth situation. They're waiting to figure out whether or not they're going to need to open up new centers, and they're getting ready at a moment's notice. The Red Cross, the Salvation Army, to open up new centers when the demand starts to become more available and more of those mandatory evacuations pop up.